I'm Rudy Diana Marquez with DRB Media Communications Digital News, and here's the story. ECISD Innovation Department introduced to ECISD students another PIC education experience. PIC education it brings real world experiences into the classroom, and by doing that, we invite researchers that are doing really extraordinary research, interesting research. Dr. John Haffernick, Emeritus Professor of Biology at San Francisco State University, presented a lecture and media presentation to middle school and some high school students on bees, zombies, and citizen science. So I talked to him about zombies, but not, not the zombies we see on uh, cable TV and so on, but the zombies that are infected honeybees that act strangely and act, uh, act like they've been zombified, flying out of their hives at night, getting attracted to lights, and then getting killed by this little fly, the zombie fly, that uh, literally eats the inside out of the bee eventually. Several years ago, Dr. Haffernick, along with some of his students, discovered that disoriented bees were being parasiticized, Apocyphilus borealis, a native fly that also parasiticizes bumblebees, yellow jackets, and wasps. The zombie flies are potentially a threat to uh, honeybees as the important pollinators that they are in our agricultural systems. The zombie fly causes an impact on the cult affecting a variety of native bees. This negative impact will cause an increase on the price of food at the grocery store. We have lots of different native bees, but the honeybee is the, the main one that gets used for many of our agricultural crops. And so if the zombie flies cause hives to fail, then that means that uh, there are fewer of them to pollinate crops. It means farmers have to pay more for their honeybees that they bring in to pollinate their crops. And eventually it means that our food costs more. Dr. John Heffernick says there are thousands of citizen science projects that anyone can get involved with. He encourages all students of ECISD to get involved in these science projects. And a lot of what we know of, of the natural world has come from non-professional scientists who've made observations and contributed to uh, what we know. Uh, if they go to uh, a website that's called SciStarter, they can pick from literally 2,000 different citizen science projects where they can help answer really important scientific questions and uh, really become scientists themselves. Several teachers, administrators, and curriculum coordinators took a two-day trip to Big Bend to study the biology of the area. It's easier to roll this into the classroom because they're learning from the master in that particular area of science and research. The kids grasp, like, you know, with the, with the engagement piece, and then they can work together to problem solve to do real research in the classroom. Get more information online at zombiewatch.org. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Danny Barrera. Follow us, DRB Media Communications, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and now on DannyVisionEntertainment.com. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Viridiana Marquez.